Chase focus on tag already made. Jacob Rosen. These two have had a history. Oh, he's kind of all smiles. She's more than happy to take on Rose. Jacob takes Ori down quite easily. Nice drop, you wow! Right on the money! Ari's a little frustrated. He's about to become even more frustrated. Way up! And comes crashing down! For the cover. Only a one count. Far too early to take out Ari Alexander. Just stumps on the tootsies of Jacob Rose. Nice takedown. Kick to the kisser. Right in the kisser. As it comes off the ropes. Beautiful baseman close on one, two. Only a two count. Jacob Rose goes face first into that top turnbuckle and a tag is made. And the self-proclaimed king, self-proclaimed master of the Frankensteiner. I bet Scott Steiner would uh, disagree with that. Combination! Not enough. Look at that. Michael's caught up a little off guard. Perhaps unprepared. On, we're just staying a step ahead of him. Michael doesn't even know where he's at. Look at that. He's got him down. He could have him. Only a two count. Just stopping his momentum. That could have been a mistake. Yes, it definitely was. Kind of a variation of a spine buster power slam combination. And now Ari Alexander back in. And Rourke, who had so much momentum going just moments ago, now being choked out on that second rope by Ari Two Belts. Next gen champion and the ladies champion, and now on the outside, Michael's choking Rogers, and the referee has to get Rose to the outside as he saw none of that. Look at that, just a blatant choke. Now, oh, come on now, Mike. Tag was made. Yeah, man. a little payback for that humiliation he suffered earlier. Look at that! There's that Frankensteiner! That he's so proud of. Oh! Two and a half. I wouldn't say it's the greatest Frankensteiner I ever saw. I mean, after all, we did see the, uh, uh, the originator, Scott Steiner, performed that many, many, many times throughout his career. But it was a good-looking Frankenste Frankensteiner nonetheless. Or a hurricane whatever you guys call it. Now Ari with a chin lock applied. Perhaps a sleeper, I can't quite tell from my vantage point. Free looking into it. Now, Jimmy, add up. What is that? By the hair. Ari takes him down. I don't know. I wouldn't advise Ari to do that. She has a lot of hair to pull, also. I no doubt he's going to want some paybacks. Look at that. She still has a handful of hair. Come on, referee. Girls pull hair a lot. It's still illegal. Of course, Victor Bell doesn't really know a lot about hair. Of course, I resemble that remark myself. Look at that, a couple of times. They both went for crossbody blocks at the same time, and they both got caught. Adam, Adam, as the referee 
referee lays the count on both individuals. Count up to six now. Look at Rose, he wants that tag in the worst way. Michaels makes the tag first, but there's the tag of Rose. Ah, Lady just takes Ari down, and a good one. The Ryan Michaels just for good measure. Jacob Rose, a house of fun. Which direction is he coming from? Leg Larry to the back of the head. Beautiful standing moonsault. Now for the cover, hooks both legs. But only a two count. Ari, a tough, tough competitor. Tag, Rose is coming back in. Nice go behind. Executed. Michael's taking a cheap shot, however. Meanwhile, in the ring, only a two count. Thought Gorgeous was looking for his partner for a second to make a tag. His partner is down, unfortunately. Gorgeous is going to have to maintain control because he's got no one to tag at the moment. Uh oh. This is with that Insiguri kick. Yeah, here comes Michaels. Come on, referee. Oh, wow. Nice double team. And Michaels making sure Rose doesn't come in. One, two. And she got him. Oh, that was another... Fantastic victory by me. Broken arm and everything. I think he broke my arm. I think he broke my arm. But once again, once again, fudge sickles. Once again, I walk out heavyweight champion. Matt, you're done now. You're done. You're not getting another shot at this. So bring on whoever's next once my arm heals. Oh my God, that's terrible. Oh, Dale, here you go, buddy. Benjamin Chimera, I had you beat. You tapped out. I should be the XVW heavyweight champion right now. But because a little mishap, I'm not. But I will be. To be Mr. Saturday Night Special Man. And earlier, Made for TV took a shortcut, did some dirty maneuvering, and found a way to qualify for this main event. Yeah, but then he got beat up pretty bad by the great American beast, man. Yeah, he definitely exacted his pound of flesh. And J-Rock probably had the easiest road to get here, man. Huff had a pretty tough battle. So, the first inaugural winner of the Saturday Night Special main event gets that bragging right of being the one of the top guys in the whole XVW. All of the Valley of Extreme, man. And that's just not just something you can put on your hat. That's something you can carry anywhere. This is in my money zone, JD. The fans might agree with what you're saying. He is the Huntington Beach bad boy, Brian Huff. a quick hit from the ball. He debuted in his pro volleyball just last week, man, and moved on to the second round in the tournament. Just shouting out a big congrats to the Huntington Beach bad boy, man. Talent, hunger, athleticism, 
and and the guy knows what he is. Hey, let's be honest. Handsome. He is what handsome the is. He's one for the two. It's kind of hard not to like the Huntington Beach bad boy. And Huntington Beach bad boy and TV Zone has some history, man. Let's but, not forget. Oh, you ain't kidding, but there's a fella that's getting ready to come out that wants to smoke, loves to smoke, and he's about that violence, and he stands on business. And when the lights are the brightest, he shines, man. This was supposed to be a, a triple threat, but it uh, it looks like it's just going to be these two. Uh, made for TV, locking up with the bad boy. Fast pace action right from the gate. What happened to J-Rock, man? You got me, DeBong. No, I don't. You got me, man. I got hey, you, bro. I got you, babe. Ooh, I didn't mean to call you babe. I meant bro. I meant bro, man. I think you hit the trees harder than Sonny Bono, DeBong. There's another lock up, though. He never could take a shot to the head, man. A side headlock by Made for TV's own Stephen Kane. Look how deep it is. Giggity. And there he is, just wrenching on it. Bounced off the rope, oh. but he don't let go. Pitbull like grip. Deep, deep. By this young man here, that's what, he's really locking it down. I mean, twerk after twerk too. It's gotta be, he'll give your ear cauliflower. No, he's not dancing, he's not twerking. Wrong twerking, but look at how he got out of that. But relentless by Stephen Kane, Oh, man. yeah, he, he's not letting go. I tell you what, the last few weeks, he's really shown us a different side. He's he's vicious. He's he's looking for action. Because that's what you do when you're made for TV, DeBong. That's, he walked past me today and stole my sunglasses. I know he did. Is anybody going to say anything about it? Back to the action, thrown into the ropes, a missed clothesline. Bang. Oh, wow, springboard kick to the face. Right in the kisser. And he's seeing stars. And not the Hollywood type, man. be some kind of answer here. Steven's outside the ring. ring trying to ca catch his breath here and Brian's had enough and he's chasing him. He's fed up. Uh, <laughs> A waffle yeah, elbow there. He's too smart for that Steven. Oh, oh wow. wow. Thing of beauty. And your cover. That was close. His athleticism, man, just really blows my mind what that he could really do. It's like every week I get to see this young man. He <laughs> does something different that I've never seen. He's going for that Uranagi rock bottom. Oh, there's another miss. Oh, wow, spine buster. Hoo-wee. They've knocked all the air out of this young man's lungs. Made for TV is down. That was enforcer style, man. Oh, oh quaking. Oh, 
Oh, man. To the Nuggets, bro. He is down. And that was quick thinking on Stephen Kane's part there. Whether you like him or not, he is savvy. He can be, especially at his age, man. Wow. And he's holding the back of his coconut. Here's a cover. Nonchalant. Should have covered the leg. And and that's why there was a kick out there. Only two. There's where that youth comes into play there, man. Both shoulders need to be down in order to gain that pinfall. And you got to hook that leg. It's frustrating. That puts all your weight right on his shoulders when you hook his leg, man. You ain't kidding, Nabonk. It's frustrating as it seems. Stephen Kane is throwing down a small gauntlet to the Huntington Beach bad boy. He's going to have to get in there and fire back some shots. Shot to the gut. He's got an answer tonight there, man. It Talk seems like more. tonight he's one step ahead of Bryant. Oh, man. Really utilizing that full count. Cutting off that air, man. His arrogance is crazy, too. Look at that, though. That was a nice, like, knee DDT. And he's still just right back in there with that rear chin lock there. I up with that, bro. Bad, dude. <laughs> Look at that, he really got it in there now. And then a knee to the spine, put a chip. Right between the shoulder blades, man. Man, and he's got it locked in real nice. The referee's got a good eye on this too, though. Working his way back to his feet, Joey. Back elbow to the gut, trying to get his way out. It looks like he did. Like a... And just that quickly, a beautiful Samoan drop. That was pitched and a cover. Perfect. Again, doesn't put the weight on the shoulders, man. He's could have put this one away twice if he would have hooked the leg and made sure those shoulders were down. I, I think youth and inexperience does have uh, its its uh, wins and losses there. Don't you agree? With age gun stoned him, man. What, what was that? With age gun stoned him. Is stoned him a word? Stoned him is most definitely a word in my in my vocabulary, man. That's right. Stoned him. And he just got stoned him to the corner and a scoop slam. Again, he's just one step ahead of the bad boy tonight, man. I think we might be uh, saying that made for TV will be Mr. Saturday Night. Special as well. If this keeps going. Could you imagine the head then? You think it's big now? Talk about ego. Look at that camel clutch. Ooh. He's sitting in the recliner. He's got his popcorn. I hope everybody at home is having fun watching that. Shades of the chic there, man. Sheiky baby would be proud. Look at that grip. Oh, man. And he's also using all of his weight on the spine just, just bending him like breaking pretzel. him down man the ref's checking on him does he want to give up you start to lose sensation in your fingers and your toes and there he is right back to the spine man back man. to it the human body's not made to bend that way man oh wow Look at the will, the sheer willpower. Oh, oh. well, as you like to say, JD, right to the Nuggets. Man. I always wanted to say that, man. And and it's not just Nuggets for him. Right now, it's Beans. He got hit in the Beans, the bomb. His Beans have been broken. I bet he can sing a higher note now. He, he might be an opera star come tomorrow, <laughs> man. <laughs> Still grappling to his own TV zone. Look at that kick to the chops. 
right to the soup coolers. Ooh, another Whoa, answer. Oh, did you beautiful. hear that, Joe? And it was beautiful. Look at that. Flying clothesline. Oh, man. Flipped him and whipped him. And zipped him, man. There you go. Now we're having fun. It's XVW. Come on down. We're on 55 South Broad Street. Big belly to belly, man. Wow. This is great. This is extreme. He's got him on his shoulders. TV's on. He took too long. Found a way out. Took too, uh oh. Uh oh. He says, no sir. No sir. Whipped into the corner. Over the top of the head. Out the back door. Elbows to the back of the head. He does not want any of this. Oh, oh wow. Twist the fate, man. Man, he brung him it's down. It's over, JD. This is it. This is it. How'd he kick out, man? Are you killing? I, I, I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. Folks at home, this is crazy. It is for Mr. Saturday Night Special, though, man. We knew we were going to see their all, and here it is. But right now, you are truly seeing something special on a Saturday. He's going for his finisher. Oh, oh man. No, he caught him. Try that Pele kick, but was caught. Oh my goodness, drop right on that face with that final cut. Oh, too close to the ropes. There's that veteran in Huff compared to that youth in Stephen Kane. Knowing where he's at. You are not lying there, brother. That's three times tonight. Stephen should have won this match and nonchalant got him, and it, cost it's him. It's cost him every time. And now the frustration is set in. The ref's letting him know. Bad boy. Been a driller. Been a driller to the soup coolers. And yeah, he wins. And Huntington Beach bad boy wins. When he tomorrow. hits that, it's over every time, man. Been a driller will put you to sleep. Night, night. And Mr. Saturday Night Special, Brian up. Our first ever. Saturday Night Special, can you believe this? I told you he was the odds on favorite man from the very beginning. First, the match with Beast. You saw that I beat him. And then that match against Bryant Huff. Every single time I'm against Bryant Huff, I lose. I'm not making that same mistake next time we meet Bryant Huff. You will know the ta name Television Zone Stephen Kane. I ain't done with you, Bryant Huff. And that, that's a wrap. XVW, Saturday night, Dayton, Ohio. And the new Mr. Saturday Night. Just another accolade among being the longest reigning next gen champion, the greatest ever heavyweight champion this company's ever seen. The man who took down all of the giants that stood before him. And now, Bryant Huff, the Huntington Beach bad boy, is XVW's Mr. Saturday Night. Man, no, it's not a dream. It's an XVW, and they're gonna be thrilling you. They get hardcore blood covering the floor. They take it out of the ring, they the wrestling kings. When it comes